Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this section of interpreting box plots. And so this gives us a chance to make sure you understand uh, the what the boxes mean and what the different uh, uh, where the different quartiles or medians and max mins uh, appear on these graphs, right? Which are called box plots. And so what we're looking at is just some sample data, right? This one is a uh, made up data. This is the ages of children in the city are given below. Um, and so what you can see here is uh, the box plot indicates, right? One thing you can see in a box plot for sure is um, you can, you get a sense of the spread, right? How, how spread out the data is. And so you can see the ages go from the max to the min from 5 to 19. You can see the box, which is important here, is um, identifies what we call the middle 50% of the of the data, right? And that's what signifies the box. And then these box and or sometimes you see whiskers. They call it box and whisker plot. You'll see it goes from min to max. And so you can kind of see the spread here. And then we learned that this box, right? It's called the interquartile range, the number from the Q1 to the Q3 from 12 to 6. So the overall range is 14, but the inner quartile range, right, which we which we call IQR, inner quartile range, in this case would be 4. I'm just kind of going through some of uh, the important features of box plots. And so then you can answer questions about what percent of the population, which becomes an important question that we, we wonder about in the world is, what percent of the population is going to do this or what percent of population is above this and so looking at the data here what percent of the data is below 12 here's 12 and again from these values we have the min q1 median or q2 q3 and then q uh, the max right so we know that 25 percent because the way the data is broken up of course a box plot broken up is broken up into quarters so here's the bottom 25, the next 25, here's the from 50 to 75%, and from 75 to 100%. So you can see those answers there. And then 19 is here, right? Every, all the data is below that. And so looking at some more data here, again, this is fictitious data here. A uh, construction worker and a teacher, you can look and then easily compare right you can compare the distributions q1 q2 is in the middle and the same thing for the teacher here's your q3 and here's your max and then you have your uh, for this one here this is min quartile one this value is called quartile one so quartiles are an actual numbers okay quartile two is the median and then the max is a number q3 is a value okay q2 is a value q1 is a value right we call them quartiles but it is a, an app it's a single value and so then you can go ahead and answer some questions here are the answers to sorry about that here are some answers to the questions that uh let's get there again there we go uh answers to these questions here um if you make thirty uh thousand dollars right you make more than 25 percent because that's the q1 uh you can see this is zero percent and so you there are the answers for them um question f is an opinion question um and then let's just look at this last one how much do you need to make in order to make uh more than all the teachers and construction workers and that's the max value here so that's it